Hey movie lovers and welcome to the Shadow Tavern, and today I have the best TV series that have recently come out with their premiere seasons or have been updated with new ones, science fiction, action movies, twisted detectives, romance, and more. In today's episode, make yourself comfortable and enjoy watching. Ahsoka follows the adventures of Ahsoka Tano, a former Jedi apprentice who survived the Clone Wars and the rise of the Empire. Created by Dave Filoni, the series follows Ahsoka's quest to find the missing Jedi Ezra Bridger and the evil Grand Admiral Thrawn, both of whom are connected to her past and may still be alive. The series is a treat for fans of Star Wars animation, as it brings to life many characters and concepts from the Clone Wars and Rebels. It assumes that viewers are familiar with the complex lore and history of Star Wars, and does not bother to explain or introduce anything. And, if you want a guide to what you need to know before watching Ahsoka, let me know in the comments. Ahsoka is a show that does its best to expand the Star Wars universe and please the hardcore fans. It must be watched if you love Star Wars and if you are curious about what happened to Ahsoka after Rebels, but not if you are looking for a simple and fun adventure in a galaxy far, far away. The series feels closer to Andor than Mandalorian and others after watching it, which is an extraordinary advantage in my opinion. Only Murders in the Building is a comedy whodunit that follows three strangers who share an obsession with true crime podcasts. When a mysterious death occurs in their Upper West Side apartment building, they decide to investigate the case and record their own podcast. Along the way, they discover secrets, lies, and unexpected connections that make them question everything they thought they knew. The series stars Steve Martin, Martin Short, and Selena Gomez as the unlikely trio of amateur sleuths who share great chemistry and comedic timing. The show is clever, witty, and self-referential poking fun at the conventions and tropes of the true crime genre. The mystery is compelling and unpredictable, with twists and turns that keep you guessing until the very end. Only Murders in the Building is a refreshing and original take on the murder mystery genre with a dash of meta-humor and a lot of heart. It is a must-see for fans of comedy, crime, and podcasts. The Bear is a show that combines drama, comedy, and culinary art in a captivating way. The main character, Carmi, is a talented chef who has won awards and acclaim in New York, but he decides to leave it all behind to honor his brother's legacy and revive the struggling sandwich shop. He faces many challenges, including dealing with his dysfunctional family, his grief, his employees, and his own ambitions. He also hires a new sous chef who shares his passion for food and helps him create a new menu that will win over customers and critics. But the show is not just about food. It is also about the relationship between the characters, their personal struggles, and their dreams. The Bear explores themes of trauma, loss, guilt, loyalty, friendship, love, and purpose. It also showcases the culture and diversity of Chicago, the city in which the show is set. The Bear has a realistic and gritty tone, but it also has moments of humor and warmth. It will make you appreciate the art of cooking and the power of food to bring people together. Painkiller is a six-episode drama that follows the lives of three main characters. Richard Sackler, the ruthless CEO of Purdue Pharma, the company that developed and marketed OxyContin, a highly addictive painkiller. Glenn Krieger, a mechanic who becomes addicted to OxyContin after a workplace injury. And Edie Flowers, an investigator who tries to expose Purdue's deception and corruption. The series is based on real events and people and features testimony from victims and families affected by the epidemic. The series does a good job of showing the human cost of the crisis as well as the greed and indifference of the pharmaceutical industry. The performances are strong, especially Uzo Aduba as Edie, who brings passion and determination to her role. Matthew Broderick plays Richard as a cold and calculating villain who cares more about profits than people. Taylor Kitsch portrays Glenn's descent into addiction with realism and empathy. Painkiller is a series that honors the victims of the opioid crisis, but also exposes the evil behind it. It is a gripping and informative watch, but not an easy one. If you are interested in learning more about this important issue, give it a try. Special Ops Lioness stars Zoe Saldana as Joe, the leader of the Lionesses, a covert unit that uses female military personnel to gather intelligence from the women closest to high-value targets in Iraq and Afghanistan. The series is inspired by a real-life CIA program, but adds plenty of action and drama to the mix. Joe is also a wife and mother who struggles to balance her family in dangerous missions. She recruits Cruz, a new recruit with a troubled past, and a knack for combat. Together they face threats from enemies and allies alike as they try to stop terrorist plots and expose corruption. The series has some strengths, such as the performances of Saldana and De Oliveira. It also shows the bravery and sacrifice of the women who serve in the military and the challenges they face in a male-dominated field. I should mention that the series borrows heavily from other spy thrillers like Homeland and Mission Impossible, but without the same level of complexity and nuance. Special Ops is a series that offers a lot of entertainment value for fans of action and espionage. It may not be the most realistic or nuanced, but it is certainly fun to watch. 
Shelter is a new Prime video series based on the young adult novels of Harlan Coben, the master of twisty thrillers. It follows Mickey Bolitar, a teenager who moves to a new town after the death of his father and the breakdown of his mother. There he meets Ashley, a mysterious girl who disappears the next day. With the help of his friends, Spoon and Ema, Mickey tries to find Ashley and uncovers a web of secrets involving his family, his town, and a boy who disappeared 27 years ago. Shelter is a mix of mystery, drama, and comedy with a dash of 80s nostalgia. The series features a charming cast of young actors who bring their characters to life with humor and heart. The series has many of the elements that make Coben's novels so addictive. Twists, turns, cliffhangers, and surprises. The plot is fast-paced and gripping, keeping you guessing until the very end. Shelter is not a perfect show, but it is an entertaining one. It is a fun and exciting ride that will appeal to fans of Coben's novels, or anyone who enjoys a good mystery. If you are looking for a new show to binge-watch, Shelter might be a good choice. The Summer I Turned Pretty is a romantic drama series based on the best-selling novels by Jenny Han. It follows the life of Isabel Belly Conklin, a teenage girl who spends every summer at a beach house with her mother, her brother, and her mother's best friend Susanna, and her two sons, Conrad and Jeremiah. Belly has always had a crush on Conrad, the older and more distant brother, but he never seemed to notice her. Jeremiah, the younger and friendlier brother, has always been her best friend. But everything changes when Belly turns 16 and suddenly becomes the center of attention for both brothers. As Belly navigates her first love and first heartbreak, she must also deal with the secrets and tragedies that threaten to tear apart the people she loves. The series is a sweet and nostalgic coming-of-age story that captures the essence of summer and the complexities of growing up. The show also explores themes of friendship, family, loss, and identity as Belly learns more about herself and those around her. The Summer I Turned Pretty is a series that will make you laugh, cry, swoon, and reminisce about your own summers. It is a perfect binge watch for fans of romance, drama, and nostalgia. Guns and Gulabs is a seven-part limited series created by Raj and DK, the duo behind The Family Man and Astri. It is set in a small town in India in the early 1990s, where two rival gangs fight over the opium trade. A new narcotics officer tries to crack the case, and a mechanic falls in love with a schoolteacher. The series is a mix of crime, comedy, romance, and action, with a touch of retro Bollywood nostalgia. The show has been praised for its gripping storyline, witty dialogues, great characters, and stylish direction. The show balances humor and suspense while exploring themes of family, loyalty, ambition, and love. The show also pays homage to the classic movies and songs of the 70s and 80s, creating a nostalgic atmosphere. The cinematography, music, and production design are also commendable. Some of the drawbacks of the series are the use of the fourth wall breaking narrative that may not appeal to everyone, and the lack of depth in some of the female characters. However, these are minor flaws that do not overshadow the overall quality of the series. Guns and Gulabs is a fun and quirky series that provides provides quality entertainment. It is a must-see for fans of crime comedy and Rajan DK's signature style. Invasion is not just a typical alien invasion story, it's more of a character-driven drama that explores how ordinary people react to extraordinary events. The series takes its time to build suspense and mystery, following the lives of five ordinary people from different parts of the world as they face an alien invasion that threatens to wipe out humanity. Each of these stories is connected by the looming threat of the aliens, who remain mostly hidden and mysterious throughout the season. The show also has some impressive visuals and effects, especially in the later episodes when the aliens become more visible visible and threatening. That's not to say that if the audience doesn't see the aliens, it won't be chilling. As they say, less is more. And the atmosphere of mystery can sometimes create far more tension than non-stop action. The series also tackles some relevant themes, such as family, identity, survival, and humanity. Invasion is a series that may not appeal to everyone, especially those who are looking for a fast-paced and thrilling sci-fi adventure. But it is a show that tries to do something different with the alien invasion genre. It's not for everyone, but if you enjoy sci-fi dramas with complex characters and themes. It might be worth a look. Foundation is a sprawling saga that spans thousands of years and multiple planets, following a group of exiles as they try to preserve the legacy of the Galactic Empire, which is doomed to collapse. The show is loosely based on the books, but adds new characters, twists, and subplots to make it more appealing to modern audiences. The show has many pros and cons, depending on your expectations and preferences. On the plus side, the show boasts stunning visuals, impressive performances, and an epic scale that rivals any blockbuster movie. The show also explores some fascinating themes 
has a diverse and talented cast, led by Jared Harris as Harry Seldon, the visionary mathematician who foresees the fall of the Empire, and Lee Pace as Brother Day, the Emperor's middle-aged clone who rules with an iron fist. On the negative side, the show deviates significantly from the source material, which may disappoint or anger some fans of the books. The show's greatest strength is its ambition and scope. Foundation is not a default sci-fi show that focuses on one hero or one story. It is a grand and sprawling epic that attempts to capture the rise and fall of civilizations. It is a show that challenges you to think big and imagine the possibilities of the future. It is a show that dares to be different and original in a genre often filled with cliches and tropes. Foundation is worth watching if you are a fan of science fiction or Asimov, or if you are looking for something new and different to watch. It is not a perfect show, but it is a bold and impressive one that deserves your attention and appreciation. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Feel free to share this video with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and click the buttons below the player. And see you next time.